Hello YouTube, this is Chester from Stem APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off. As you remember, in the last tutorial, uh, we were doing and covering the troubleshooting of dealing with NVIDIA drivers in compatibilities with, uh, with what we were trying to do with Vulkan, right? And in that video, we went over how to get rid of those uh, errors and hopefully you were able to uh, get past those uh, errors and now we're ready to keep going. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you something that can become very handy, especially when you're just using some of the examples that come in with the Vulkan uh, examples and the Vulkan examples library. Because sometimes you don't want to use all the examples, you just want one. And it can be very confusing if you want to just compile that one uh, particular example at a time. So I'm going to show you how to do that the easy way. Because if you see, if you try to use their CMake uh, list.txt file, it's huge. It's got all kinds of stuff and uh, all all kinds of stuff you do you do not know i mean uh, if you using cmake you more or less know what's going on but that's overkill for you if you just want to just take one example right so you don't want to use the whole thing because you might be getting some errors that you don't know what to deal with so you just want in this case we're just going to execute the uh, cube.c and q yeah that's the same one that we did here. If you remember, that's the one that we used before to make sure that uh, that Vulcan was working correctly. I'm going to show you. So it's this one right here. But if you remember, we did it uh, using uh, what they told us to do, right? In this one, we're not using what Vulkan is telling us to do, but we're using our own directory. Like I created this directory here called YouTube. And in this directory called YouTube, I'm going to put kubec and all of the dependencies that I need in order to execute it. So I need kubevert, I need kubec++, kubefragment, linmat, and so on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I have in here. So get there. Let me clear this. And this is what I have. All of I have kubec, the file that, that we need to execute, and all of the dependencies that, that it needs, all the helper files and the header files. And it's got the VK cube here and the VK cube app that I don't need here. So let's remove them. VK cube uh, P, and there they're gone. So everything that I need just to execute cube.c, that's what I have here, nothing else. So then let me show you what, what is in my uh, modified CMake list file. This is what I have, how I modify it. I uh, 3.12 project YouTube. I call the YouTube uh, find pa package Vulcan require. Yes, X11. Yes, because it's going to be doing some funky stuff um, in in there. You the name of the executable is going to be called YouTube. Make sure your name is the same, or it's going to give you some errors. Uh, YouTube. Private target compiled definitions. This is the bug for BK using the the uh, Vulkan platform for Linux. Don't use the Windows, so you'll get some funky errors. Uh, target the include directories of Vulkan. Target the include directories of X11 because you you require them, so you need the directories and you need the libraries. And same thing for Vulkan. And don't remember, don't forget to put this flag here, the uh, ILM, that's for the math library. And if you don't include it, you will get also some funky errors. So that's all you need in uh, 
in your mother fights in make list text file. For example, if you look at the other one, look at uh, look look at the difference between that one. You know, it's just a lot of stuff that can only get you into trouble if you're just e trying to execute one little file, right? Look at the difference. So that's why I'm showing you how to do this because it can become very handy. So let's, let's close it now, clear, and let's uh, see make in this directory. And it's going to find that everything is there. That's good news. Now we're going to do make. And there it is. It built it. It, it linked it. And now it built the executable called YouTube. So let's look at it. And there it is. YouTube. And that's what you need. So now we run it. And there it is. And we executed it ourselves. So that way uh, you can, uh, and that's just, this is just one example that I use. But you, that way you can use theirs one at a time without having to run all of them and maybe get some errors because you're missing some dependencies. But, but this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day. Take care.